Welcome back. This is Tony Fergie. Welcome back to my channel. I want to thank all my subscribers for coming back. Y'all the bomb. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be here. Now, I want y'all to watch this video. And I want y'all to comment. Tell me what you think. They are engaged in a three-way tug of war. Chinese, Russians, and Americans for who are going to dominate the soil of Africa. Remember, whoever controls Africa rules the world because Africa has the largest deposits of non-renewable resources in the world. Gas, oil, gold, silver, manganese, coltan. Do you realize of the dozen or so minerals necessary to create an atomic bomb, half of them are in Africa. There is no nuclear age without Africa. There is no solar age without Africa. There is no technological age without Africa. China knows that. And see, the reason China wants to possess herself of Africa is number one, China is overpopulated. I've been there twice to speak to the Africans. China is overpopulated, bro. You think rush hour in New York is something? You think rush hour in DC? Go to China and sit in that rush hour. It's overpopulated. Two billion people. They need somewhere to drop off the excess Chinese. Africa has undeveloped land all over the continent. It's the perfect place for China to send all of the people she needs to get rid of. Number two, China is the number one producer of cheap goods, cheap food, cheap clothes, cheap utensils, cheap devices, cheap soap, anything cheap, China makes it. They are the Walmart of the planet. China has a surplus of cheap goods. Where can I go and sell all these cheap goods that cost less than a dollar so I can recoup all my money from the surplus I have? Africa. Most of the world lives off of less than a dollar a day. The world. So America will never be able to sabotage China because America is king of capitalism, expensive goods. China is the king of communism, cheap goods. And so Africa is the perfect place for the Chinese to dump all their unsold cheap goods off. Also, where can you go to create a manufacturing sector where you can pay people pennies in order to work for you? Africa. Everything China needs, Africa has. And the last thing is the damn resources. China want that gold. China want them diamonds. China want that gas. China wants that oil. And I'm disappointed in our African leaders, not all of them, but some of them. And most recently, I spoke by the invitation of the Ethiopian government for African Liberation Day this past May. And my disappointment with some African leaders is we keep on playing pocket pool with these different neo-colonizers. Who's going to treat me the best? The Americans? Who's going to treat me the best? The Russians? Who's going to treat me the best? The Chinese? None of them are going to treat you well because they are all colonizers. Africa has no friends. The only thing Africa has is a lot of resources that other people don't want to pay for. And will kill to get. So right now we got a situation in the Sahel in Africa where you have Niger, Burkina Faso, Mali, uh, Guinea. These are all former French colonies, Francophone countries. They kicked the France out. There's been revolutions. And now we got what appears to be authentic black leadership in Africa. I hope they are sincere. I hope they are not FBI agents. I hope these coups are not a CIA stunt because we really need these brothers to keep good on their promise to revolutionize the political reality in Africa because our people are tired of being at the bottom. The richest people in the world, the first people in the world have no business being the poorest people in the world. And so I'm hoping these brothers are sincere. What did you think? Did this brother make any sense? I mean, is it possible that the coups could be FBI agent? I don't think so. It's 2024. The atmosphere has changed. There's a shift. I don't believe that. Everything that's happening is real. That's what I believe. It's time. So guess what, y'all? Don't be shaken. 
Don't be moved. None of that. Because it's time. It is time, y'all. Don't let nobody scare you from going home. Because we're not going to a burning house. And we're not going to go home and nobody's there. So, let's get packing. Let's not be distracted. Stay focused. Do y'all hear me? Stay focused. And know that Tony loves y'all. Have a wonderful day. And thank you guys for coming back.